Welcome everybody to the Geek Dad Report versus the NFL. I'm Brian West. And I'm Ryan Thomason. And tonight we're going to be making all our picks for the 2018 divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Uh, but first, we got to talk a little bit about Wild Card Weekend. And for some of us, it was a little too wild in, in a bad way. And for the other rest of us, oh, Brian, come on. That is what very mature for a, a cup. I was oh, going to. You, you look, you checking out my fuck cup? Well, this is what happens when my beloved, blessed yeah. Seahawks are just thrown out of the playoffs shockingly and suddenly by the stupid oh. freaking Cowboys, America's team, more like South America's team, maybe. Not not uh, not my team. They weren't technically blown out. I mean, it they did at least cover for those people that had the under three spread. Oh my God, I okay, mean, well, we'll, well, that were, that were right, let's let's talk about that for a second. Uh, the game aside, <laughs> most that game varied from it started at two and a half points, went all the way down to one point, but kind of settled at like two points, right? So yeah. the fact that the Hawks were able to get that last minute touchdown and and cover what most people betted at the one and a half, like Vegas must have lost a ton of money. Anybody who thinks that Vegas owns these yeah. games, no, because oh. Vegas lost so much money because all the underdogs won last week. So I mean, it makes me a little happy that my beloved Seahawks really stuck it to somebody. But uh, yeah, we're gonna talk more about we'll talk more about my Hawks in just a second. But uh, but yeah, like Ryan said, all the wild card teams covered last week or uh, dogs covered last week. Um, did let's see. No, I don't think all the dogs covered because Seattle. Well, they all covered. They didn't all win, but uh, there was a lot of upsets. Um, every road team won except for Seattle, which is kind yeah. of obnoxious. So, I mean, this is a year that we said right last week we were talking about it's wide open. It's probably the reason why I was really excited for the Hawks being in this year is that it was wide open. I mean, there's no clear favorite in any, in any, either conference or any, you know, any of the games. I mean, yeah. the Cowboys, even mm. I, I hate them and I'm mad they won, but they won. They played a good game. And they outlasted Seattle. It wasn't like they just got lucky. They played. They were tough, man. And who would have thought that Chicago Bears, with yeah. the best defense in the NFL, was going to hold the Eagles to 15 points or, or 16 points? But you know, I did. Well, yeah, I 15. mean, I, I called it, man. I thought I thought Philly was going to win that game. Uh, if you're keeping record, I did go two and two last week. Ryan went uh, one and two. Unfortunately, we both missed on the Hawks. But, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. At least I'm floating around 500. So I'm going to say that's a win. I just got to continue my dominance of Ryan this season. So we'll pick the next game and we'll see what we're doing. We're keeping track in the playoffs, so we'll do this week. But, yeah, um, the playoffs will be easier to track. <laughs> but yeah, the double doink game, man. I feel so bad for that kicker in Chicago. He's getting booed off the field. I mean, they came out and said it was a tip ball, but still. That thing hit the upright and then hit the, the cross beam. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no. Yeah, if, if, the, if it just landed – and like a different angle, it would have just like plopped back into the back of the the upright. I mean, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it was crazy. It, it, at least it did t get ruled that it was tipped, mm. and so all those Chicago fans that were walking out yeah, of the hopefully, stadium, hopefully screaming, they won't burn their kicker's house down now. I mean, yeah, it's... they won't like go and like murder his dog or something. You know, well, like, that's the thing. I mean, like honestly. As a Hawks fan, you know, I, I did predict 10-6 and six at the beginning of the year, but that was, like, the best I thought we could possibly do. This was really a rebuilding year for the Hawks, and I'm, I'm just happy that they were able to even get in, truthfully, with, with as many players as they lost and as, as much of the roster as they turned over. I think it was something like 12 players were either rookies or second-year guys this year. I mean, that is a huge number of young players on your team. So, I mean, I, I'm happy we got in. It was – and you have the oldest kicker ever. Oh so. God! We're hang on one second. One, I'm, we're going to talk about Janikowski and his fat hammy in a second. But you know, I mean, I was just happy to get in. You know, I, I had fingers crossed that we'd have some Wilson magic and we'd maybe make a, a magical run. But deep down, I, I didn't think we'd ha we had enough talent on the roster. I mean, there's a reason we went 0 and 4 in preseason, and you know, 0 and 6 to start the season if you include preseason. We just 
we, we had a lot of young players and just not a ton of depth. And it kind of showed up. I mean, the Cowboys out physical us. It was their home. They wanted it. They wanted it bad. And they played tough and they played hard. I mean, yeah, there was some questionable calls, always is. But at the end of the day, it was third and 14. And if we stop Dallas, they kick a field goal. And we only need a touchdown to win that game. And we were right there with them. It just didn't work out that way. Unfortunately, you know, we'll be back. Seattle's got a great quarterback and a good young team. We'll be back. It is disappointing. I will say this, though. Seattle, Pete, John Schneider, if you're listening to me, for the love of fucking God, get a kicker that is not complete and utter dog shit. I know Janikowski only missed five field goals and two PATs, but all seven of those missed kicks were in huge moments. And Janikowski, don't wait to see that you missed it before you magically grab your hamstring and be like, ah, and fall yeah. down. That was that a was, metaphor for your career. It's over. That was, Hang it, it up. Hilarious, though. I swear I really, to God, they cut to Janikowski on the sideline. And he was smoking a pack of Marbs, drinking a bottle of vodka. <laughs> you know, that's that's pretty much what, like, when he put on his helmet, I'm like, this dude looks like he's from the 1950s. And, I, you know, he it's like, he, he wouldn't even... He looks like the guy that wouldn't even take off his helmet to have a you smoke. Know the worst part was is we we signed I think his name Jason Myers right we signed him uh, he was a kicker at Jacksonville got cut we signed him at the beginning of the season to j- battle it out with Janikowski he never missed a single kick in preseason uh, but they decided to keep Janikowski because he's a veteran and yada 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 well Myers guess who's going to the Pro Bowl for kickers Jason Myers the guy we cut hasn't missed a kick all year. God damn it. Really? And he's like 25. Yes. Just, well, I, I am so well, sick yeah. of kickers. I am sick of kickers. Either get a good kicker, Seahawks, or petition the league to get rid of kickers altogether. Yeah, well, at least you didn't have Chicago's kicker. Who, who when, they, when they did the montage of all of his missed kicks, I'm like, yeah, if he's going he's, to, gonna, the Eagles are going to ice the first one. Yeah, that was great. And then he's going to make it. You know, and then he's going to be feeling good. You know what? And the, the second one's going to doink. Chicago has yeah. nobody to blame but themselves. They controlled their own destiny. Had they benched all their starters and let the Vikings win, they would have got the sorry-ass Vikings in, for, in round one, and they'd be going on. But instead, they had to, like, get the hottest team in the NFC with the friggin' Eagles and this weird Philly Foles magic they got going on. Everybody says Foles is a Christian, but I seriously doubt, I doubt that. He is clearly a practicer of the Dark Arcs because he is – Casting spells all over the team, dude. It, my work on Monday, dude. Was I can't so even imagine because they were just everyone was just talking. Oh yeah, so much stuff about how great the Eagles are, and they're gonna get, we're gonna do it again. We're yeah, that whole it. dude, that whole that whole city right now is believing. I if you are not a Phillies fan, I would not want to be in Philadelphia right now. Yeah. But you know, as far as the rest of the games go, uh, I didn't have power on Sunday, so. I didn't really watch. I know I watched some of the Colts game. What a disaster Houston is, man. And Indy, man, they're good. They, they put a smackdown on, on I feel Houston. So. Stupid as shit for picking them because I would, even by the, when there was still 30 seconds left in the first quarter and the Colts were already up by 21, I was like, well, Houston was a bad decision on yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny is I picked them all year to win games, and this is the first time like I think I picked against them, and I was all right. Indy just looks so hot coming into this game, but uh, yeah, I mean I didn't watch any, I didn't watch a lick of the Chargers Baltimore game, but uh, Chargers man, they're for real. They're a good team. So anyway, we're gonna talk more about those guys here in our next picks, but I wanted to just final cap on my hawk season. Fuck. You wanna? Uh... <laughs> You want to pour one out for the homies? Or no, you, gonna... you know, that, that's all I had to say. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, they had a good run. It was a, it was actually a lot of fun this year to watch. It was fun to uh, – it was it was, a, it was a fun season. It started out kind of goofy, but it's in some ways it's good to watch. It's it's kind of refreshing to see. We got rid of a lot of the veterans who were making a lot of noise, and it's, it's, yeah. it's fun to watch a young team start to gel together and watching guys who you've watched for a couple of years really starting to figure it out, so – I had a lot of fun this year as a Hawks fan. It was we had we had a lot of good games. Every game we lost, we were right in there. You know, even the Rams games and the Chargers, we lost to a lot of good teams, but we lost to them in the last drives. I mean, it just tells me that we were right there. Even this Dallas game, we were not blown out. The game came all the way down to the wire uh, on the road. So, you know, we get better next year. It was a fun season. I it sucks it ended so quickly, but um, 
You know, I hate the Cowboys. I wish we hadn't lost to them, especially that stupid team. And hopefully they'll lose this week. But, uh, but you know what? The Cowboys played really tough. They got a good young defense. A lot of people here in Seattle want to fire all the offensive coordinators and fire Pete Carroll again. And I'm just like, guys, why do we run so much? Because that's what we do. Yes. Do we need a little more creativity next year? Yeah, but we also need more offensive weapons. Like everyone's like, how come we don't have a middle middle passing game? Because we got a bunch of short receivers who can't get open in the middle of the field. We need some. We need our. We need our starting tight end back. We need a few pieces back. So, um, you know, both of both of our guards were banged up and trying to gut it through. Uh, Sweezy, our left ta- our left guard, apparently was playing with a broken bone in his foot. <laughs> the doctors told him not to play, and he said, "Nope, I'm playing." So, I mean, sometimes at the end of the year, it's about who's healthy and who's not. Yeah, just just let it soak. You guys, you got until March to start worrying about free agency and yeah, all exactly. that stuff. But let it, you know, let the season Listen, you know, take in. I figure feel, out what you're gonna do. Take some time. Nobody, everybody always just wants to immediately just start. Yeah, oh yeah, I agree. Listen, I feel much better as a Hawks fan with a loss in the playoffs. Head coach from Clemson, you know, he's gonna be the one that we gotta, you know. Yeah. Make, hey, roll yeah. tide. <laughs> Kind of, kind of watch a better franchise sports town get stomped by Clemson. God, I love that. I, I enjoyed that on Monday. I'll tell you that. But, but no, Brian, I, I feel better as a Seahawks fan than I think you probably feel as a Pittsburgh fan right now. Well, I, I will say, Brian, I, I'm glad that you can now join me as a team that is their their team season is officially over. Oh, hey, have, but at least nope, I have a new. I have a question for you, though. Yes. Who is the team that you're going to be rooting for? Throughout the rest of the playoffs. All right, now that well, team's well, gone. Do you gonna, have a team? Yes, that you and have we're going to talk about. We'll, we're going to talk about that. I have. I'll have one from the AFC and one from the NFC. We'll talk about that when we pick our four games. Let's uh, move on real quick. The- last thing yeah. I want to say is I. My favorite thing about the Hawks this season is they allowed me to win my bet against Ryan and uh, be the better team and show everyone how crappy the Steelers are. And that really yeah. was the win. That was the Super Bowl for me. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm glad people got to see. What's underneath the shirt? Because I did get a couple of compliments, and it, it it did boost boost up my self esteem. I had some people slide into my DMs and wanted your personal information, but I didn't give it to them. I want you to know that. No, I I only I had a whole bunch of really good positive feedback. So all right, well there yeah there you go. Me and Ryan's teams are officially out, so now we have to do this like as professional people and not like homers, which is going to be weird. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. So. No more just fanboying on one thing. Well, I mean, I can still do it, but I'll still talk about it. Somehow I'll find a way to talk about my Hawks every week. But all right, Ryan, you've talked about it. What teams do we have? Um, let's do this, man. Let's dive into it. Our games this week for the divisional round. Do you want to do by days or do you want to do by conferences? Let's do by days. Okay, so first up we have the uh, no, no respect. The no respect Colts getting the early game. Both days, both on Saturday. Usually that goes to the team that nobody thinks has a shot at winning. And yeah. uh, it went to the Colts last week, and now it's the Colts-Chiefs this week. So we have the six-seeded Colts who just put a whooping on Houston heading to the best offense in football in uh, Arrowhead, Kansas City. But also Kansas City has the worst running defense in football, and not by just a small margin. No, it's a massive margin. They're, 30, they're like 32. They're ranked 32, well, but – the Colts have a really strong young defense, and they have a fantastic. Well, I would say their offense is powered by a fantastic quarterback, a high-powered quarterback, and they do have some weapons. Um, mm. I, I don't know what the over/under as far as betting purposes in this, but I would definitely take the over. I think this could be a fifty-five to fifty-eight type football game. <laughs> that's a high score. I don't think it's going to be that high score. Well, jo- that's a joke. I do think this is going to be. I think the winner of this is going to be in the forties. <laughs> I think it might be forty-two to thirty-eight type game. Yeah, I, after watching the Colts game, and from what I know about Kansas City, I'm going to say it's going to be more like, I'm going to say Colts 28, uh, uh, Kansas City, like, I'll give them like 25. So oh, make so it, you're taking the Colts in this. All right, like so I'm going to take the Chiefs, so the home team. I know Andy Reid really likes to choke it up, but Patrick Mahomes might be the best quarterback he's ever had. And that team just finds a way to win, especially at home. Andy Reid couldn't coach himself out of a bag in the playoffs, though. I mean, that's it's true. I'm, not- I'm definitely going against the grain. I am betting on Patrick Mahomes and a very riled up Kansas City crowd. So oh, I'm, I'm going to take I'm going to take the Chiefs in a shootout. So you're going with the Colts? I'm, yeah, I'm going to stick with my guts 
Uh, after watching the Colts game, I was very impressed. And so I'm going to say the Colts are going to make it on to the uh, the championship round. Yeah, no, I, listen, I this is this is not a 100% confidence for me. I I feel you. Andy Reid does not know how to coach in the playoffs. But I think he's going to get this one. All right, so moving on to the a- NFC, we got our first uh, game in that conference. The, uh, the hated Cowboys. Are they hated, Brian? I don't know. I know there's a lot of people that love the Cowboys. Except for everyone here in Philadelphia who were very upset that I I could possibly even root for the Cowboys. So uh, The Cowboys, God. The Cowboys are heading to Los Angeles to play the Rams, another team I hate. Can this game, can this end in a tie? Can we just have the winner of the Eagles Saints play in the Super Bowl? Could. Now, you can't tie in the divisional playoff rounds. I, I know, I'm joking. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I okay, like, honestly, I have not really put much thought into this, so I don't know who I have yet. I'm going to talk myself into a a, a, pers- a team here. I really want to go with the Cowboys, honestly, but I, I don't necessarily – I don't know. What do you, I don't know what do you got. The Rams have the second-best offense in the NFL. I, Their defense has been the drastically Rams, not good. But I also think that the Rams have cooled off from the beginning of the season. Yeah, big time. And they don't have much of a home field advantage in, in L.A. And the Cowboys are playing really good. They impressed me against the Hawks. They played really tough against Seattle. It wasn't like Seattle really played bad. They they took Seattle's punch and just rolled with them. I mean, they got a really – their defense really did impress me. But on the road, the Cowboys have not been nearly as strong as they have been at home. Well, and – Todd Gurley is going to play. There's still, there's still a lot of season there, – there's still a lot of tickets available for this game. So, I mean, it – you could very well get a lot of cowboy fans just kind of. I don't think the home. You know, I don't think the home field is going to play into this at all. I think this is just going to be talent levels. Here's my thing. I think the Cowboys were there to be had on on Saturday last week. The Hawks just their defense kept them in. The Hawks could not get it going until the second half. I don't think that's going to be a problem with the Rams. I do think the Rams are going to score, and I do not think the Cowboys can keep pace with the Rams. Plus, I think Todd. I know Todd Gurley is coming back, and Todd Gurley is a monster. Okay, so Todd, yeah, I haven't checked Todd Gurley's injury report, but if he's if he's playing, I give the Rams a better chance. Yeah, but if he's Todd, not playing, yeah, Todd Gurley. Well, I don't know. C.J. Anderson's been rushing for like 150 yards a game since Todd Gurley's been out. But um, I I cannot believe Todd Gurley would not play in this game. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Rams are gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys on this one. I mean. Uh-huh. Even though the the Cowboys Seahawks game, I did fall asleep at halftime, and I woke up. I literally, it showed me the play of the game, and then it, and then it cut to the um, oh, which, the evening news. Which play so, of the game? Because I'm sure it was all Cowboys. That is one complaint I did have. I usually it back diving into the end zone. Yeah. yeah. I'm not usually one that bashes on commentators. The whole like, oh, all they do is talk about the other team. They're usually yeah. pretty good, but I will say this broadcast was by far the worst. Troy Aikman and Joe Buck were having a Cowboys orgy in that freaking. Nobody, they are like the two commentators that Ugh. everybody thinks hates their team. Yeah, I, I usually am a lot nicer. I think they're actually a pretty good commentating duo, but man, I'm telling you, everything was Cowboys. Every, yeah. every time Seattle made a good play, they're like, we need to see the replay to see if he really drug, drug his toes. <laughs> And then it's almost like you could sense the disappointment in their voice when there was a first down. You're like, Ugh. I'm sure everybody from Dallas loved it. Probably thought it was a great game all the way around. Whatever. All right, so you're taking Cowboys and taking Rams. All right, let's see if we got it. Taking the Cowboys just just because um, I, 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 I don't think it's a – I, I, I think the Rams defense is going to fall apart. I do not dis- uh, disagree. I will say this: the um, the Cowboys have not been the same team on the road as they have been at home. So, I do think that uh, the Rams are going to get them. All right. Well, there we go. We'll find out. All right. Heading to the Sunday games. First game up on Sunday at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time is the Los Angeles Chargers of San Diego are heading to New England to play the Patriots. I'm going to make this one real simple. I freaking hate the Patriots, and I want them to lose. And they're old, and they really aren't that good, and they play in a stupid division where they get a first-round bye every week. And I think the Chargers are maybe the best team in football. And they're my pick from the AFC that I'm going to be rooting for all the way to the Super Bowl. I'm going to choose the Chargers because there was one play toward the end of the game 
Um, and the Chargers, I think, have already secured the lead. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Philip Rivers uh, kept the ball and he ran up the field. Uh, instead of sliding or, you know, going down or anything like that, he lowered his freaking shoulders and he just he ran straight ahead. And yeah. this isn't, he's not 21 years old. I mean, mm-hmm. he's been, he's been, he's, let's see, he was, he's going to take, he's going to, as Eli Manning, right? Yeah, he was yeah. in the 2005, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, he's been in there for 13 years. So, I mean, he's no young buck. So, for him to do that, I was like, all right, Phil Rivers, he, he's a tough son of a bitch. And he's going to, he, He's leading this team, and he's gonna, I he's gonna well, whip one of his bolo ties around Tom Brady, and psh, that'd be yeah, that. and and the, the, even some of the podcasts I listen to that have New England Patriots fans on them, they're even saying that like New England Patriots, they have no, they have no real reason for being in the playoffs. They're a terrible team. They've just been getting by on an easy schedule. And you know there there's nothing that's impressive about him. So I agree with you. The Chargers are going to go in and just and and do America a, a good service. Plus, and, and I would I would love absolutely love if <clears throat> the team you know especially the team that can't even fill out a, a, a soccer stadium somehow wins the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, you know, suck at NFL. You should have moved from San Diego, you assholes. All right, so yeah, so I guess we're both in agreement. The Chargers, uh, they can pass the ball. They got great running game. They got wide receivers galore, and they got a really good defense. Um, they played three safeties the entire time against Baltimore and just shut Baltimore down. I yeah. I think San Diego, and and they don't because they have no home field advantage. They're just used to playing wherever. So I think I just think they're gonna. I think they're the team, man. I think this is their year. So yeah, we're both in agreement. The Chargers. All right, in the last game of the week, um, Eagles. The 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 magical Eagles are heading to New Orleans <laughs> to play a team who has not a, played their starters in three weeks. Yeah. Do you God. think that's going to hurt them? So talk about giving you guys some rest. I mean, three weeks is a long ass time to not have played you know any like real football. I mean, I know that you know they probably have you know high level scrimmages and you know practices and stuff like that, but. That's a long time. And I don't think New Orleans really – God, I don't know. So here's my thing. You asked who my team was. So my team my team that I'm kind of rooting for this year, I wouldn't mind seeing the Chiefs, to be honest with you. I really like Patrick Mahomes and I like Andy Reid. So um, the two teams I like the most, the Chiefs and the Chargers, are from the from that division. Um, that being said, if I got to pick an NFC team, I probably would like to see the Saints win it all. I like Drew Brees. Um, he seems like a really classy dude. Max Unger, the old Seahawks – Lineman still there, so um, I would like to see the Saints win it. That being said, every time I really want to pick the Saints, I just don't. I feel like the Eagles are going to somehow find a way to beat them. I I have this feeling that if I pick the Saints, the Eagles are going to win, and then it's going to be the exact same thing as last week, where the I had the freaking I choose the Bears because because on paper on on the Eagles have no business beating the Saints. Says, the Saints should steamroll Saints. the Eagles. Look right here, Saint, 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 Saint. You know Saint. what? I'm going to say the Bears shot themselves in the foot, and I'm going to say the Saints are not going to do that. The Saints are going to win. They're going to beat the Eagles. You think so? so I think not gonna... I think the Eagles. I think the Bears did as much to lose that game as the Eagles did to be more. I, I think they did more to lose that game than the Eagles did to win it. I don't think the Eagles had any business winning that. And if the field goal kicker could have made that kick, they wouldn't have. So I'm going to say New Orleans. I'm going to say the. They've been shitty all season. They were lucky to even get in the playoffs. So New Orleans is going to beat them. Yes, New Orleans is going to win, and it's going to be a New Orleans Rams NFC Championship game. You know, I'm gonna just because the Bears disappointed me so much last week because they were the are you gonna root for the are you gonna are you gonna root for the Eagles? Pick I. I can't do. It. I'm gonna have to go with the Eagles this week. Just, oh, the kiss of death. That means they're definitely losing. It was, it was, I was just, they're just, the the Bears screwed me. Dude, uh, none so of these, all I, these I games should be good. On, these are I'm, all going to be good games. I, I do not fault you for picking the Eagles. Deep down, I kind of want to pick the Eagles, but I'm, I'm going with, I think the Saints, 
I think this really could be the we're, year. We're on the reverse of last week. I'm, I'm, you're, the, you're going with the one that's the on paper. There's no yep. way that this team should lose this game. Yep. They're at home. They're like nine and two at home, like when the last two seasons or something. And you know, and it's indoors. Hey man, this is when the this is when the number one seeds and two seeds usually handle their business. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, all right. Well, there you go. There's our picks for this week. We'd love to know who you guys picked. Uh, we'd also love to know what made you so sad about the Hawks getting bounced out of the playoffs. Um, unless you're a Cowboys fan, I don't want to hear anything from any of you, okay? You have other things to do. You should be watching games or studying stats or something. I don't want to hear anything about your guys' victory at all. But anybody else, you can feel free to, to send me your sad thoughts. It's fine. I understand. We'd also like to say we'd like to know who you guys picked. And... Uh, Enjoy the playoffs, everybody. Yeah. And uh, consume your alcoholic beverages responsibly. Yeah. Or if you're going to do it irresponsibly, at least do it at home so you can pass out face first in your toilet. Yes. Just, wear, all just wear a snorkel. Yeah. Yeah. Snorkels are a must. Anyway. All right, man. You got anything else? I have to say the, the Steelers offseason is off to a great start. That's all I can say. Yeah. Now accepting, now accepting offers for Antonio Brown. That should be a good yeah. one. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, uh, I mean, there's a couple of coaching hires, but we don't care about that. Anyway. We'll that. worry about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about that next week when there's only two teams to talk about. Anyway, all right, everybody. Enjoy the football, the football games this weekend. And stay awesome. And go Hawks, even though they're and out. stay nerdy. And come on, Antonio Brown, get your crap together. <laughs> later. Bye.